Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. So did you know that around half of your body wasn't human? You have about 40 trillion human cells and around the same number of microbes. The exact number has been debated and can vary depending on the individual, but it's still crazy to think that our microbiome occupies such an important part of our body. The bulk of it lives in your gut and plays a huge role in your health. So it's really, really important to take great care of it. How? Well, first of all, let's get up to date on what our microbiome is and why it is important. What is your gut microbiome? Well, your gut microbiota refers to the different microorganisms living in your gastrointestinal tract and mostly in your large intestine and colon. Their genetic material is called your microbiome and this can be influenced depending on your environment, your diet, and whether or not you take antibiotics or if you've been affected by a certain disease. So your everyday actions can modulate its composition and can influence your health negatively or positively. Why is gut health important? Studies are constantly demonstrating the link between our microbiome and many different health aspects. An unbalanced microbiome can cause inflammatory and metabolic diseases. Our microbiome also plays an important role in maintaining a healthy weight. People who are obese or overweight have less diverse microbiomes and can have altered metabolic pathways. And also people who have type 2 diabetes have a modified gut composition compared to others. And there's so many more studies and results that show the importance of having a healthy gut microbiome for our health. The easiest and most efficient way to keep this gut microbiome thriving is to eat the right foods. So I'm going to give you a list of the top types of food you can eat for gut health. Some foods can be found in multiple categories and that's all the more reasons to put them in your shopping cart. The first great type of food for gut health is fiber. Fiber can't be digested by your body but it's excellent for your gut microbiome. It enables it to produce certain metabolites that can fight off inflammation and there are other many health benefits of that as well. Many fruits and vegetables, oats, quinoa, brown rice, they all contain fiber and you can find a list of fiber rich foods in, an, in a blog post that I wrote that I will be putting in the description. The second type of food you should be eating for gut health are fruits and vegetables. They are an amazing source of nutrients for a healthy microbiome. They contain healthy fiber and some are also very rich in phytonutrients. Apples and blueberries, for instance, have been shown to improve the intestinal environment by modulating the composition of the microbiome positively. Bananas, asparagus, leeks, onions also contain inulin which is beneficial to your gut microbiome. In general, increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables is excellent for your gut health and for your general health as well, so you have no reason not to. The third type of food that is excellent for gut health are fermented foods. When a food is fermented, it means that the yeast or bacteria inside the food have converted the sugar into alcohol. So fermented foods are rich in probiotic bacteria. These probiotics are excellent for for your digestive system and help keep your gut healthy. Some people take them in the form of supplements, but you don't have to if you can eat them in the form of fermented foods. Whole grains are another great type of food for gut health. Whole grains contain fiber as well as other non-digestible carbohydrates which can improve the growth of beneficial bacteria in your gut. Whole grain foods include quinoa, brown rice, buckwheat, bulgur, and you can also find them in foods that use whole wheat flour like whole wheat pasta, whole wheat bread, whole oats. Another great type of food for gut health are the foods that are rich in polyphenols. You've probably heard that polyphenols have many great health benefits. And among those benefits, one of the most well-known is that they can help reduce oxidative stress by fighting free radicals. 
But another thing that polyphenols do is that they're excellent for gut health. Polyphenols positively modulate the composition of your gut microbiome. I'm going to give you some foods that are rich in polyphenols right now. Grapes, almonds, blueberries, strawberries, onions, olives, artichokes, chestnuts, hazelnuts, red wine, cocoa, dark chocolate, and there are also many herbs and spices such as sage, rosemary, or basil, which are rich in polyphenols, but typically you consume them in only very small quantities. So hopefully this list gave you some ideas about foods that are good for your gut health. And here are other ways to help your gut. First, you should avoid processed foods. They are high in refined carbohydrates and contain harmful additives. You should also reduce your consumption of sugar and artificial sweeteners, which negatively impact the composition of your gut microbiome. Also, it's important to only take antibiotics when they are really necessary. So don't get me wrong, they are crucial to help fight off certain bacterial diseases. Nowadays, however, people take them in excess and this can be very detrimental to your gut microbiome and also creates lots of problems with resistance, but that's another story. Take them only when they are necessary and eat a lot of gut healthy foods to compensate. And also go outside, get in contact with some dirt microbes, reduce your stress, all are great for your gut health. I also want to talk about gluten because that is a big concern for people regarding their gut health. People have been linking it to what is called a leaky gut. However, this only affects individuals who have celiac disease or who have a gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity. Of course, these people should stop consuming gluten. But for most of us, there isn't any solid evidence that says that consuming gluten can lead to a leaky gut. And gluten is found in many great health foods. So unless you have a type of gluten intolerance, of course, then just focus on the list I gave you to find foods that are great for your gut health without worrying whether they contain gluten or not. So your gut microbiome plays a huge part in your health. A disrupted microbiome is the root of many diseases. You can easily keep it thriving by eating the right foods. Eat fiber-rich foods, fermented foods, plenty of fruit and vegetables. They are great for optimal gut health. And there's also a few little lifestyle changes you can make for optimal gut health as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe. And see you on my next video. Bye.